what is up guys my name is Taylor or Mercadurka as you know and this is a game of wager mode sharpshooter and uh, it's still not the high roller type um, I'm still too nervous to go back in there I've actually lost my uh, my points twice now and haven't been given them back and it's really unfortunate and so uh, I'm just biding my time until I feel comfortable enough to go back in there but you know what um, it's all gonna work out thank you thank you car outside for honking right in the middle of my commentary but anyway um, Sharpshooter is quickly becoming my favorite uh, wager mode. I liked Gun Game a lot at first, just like I like Sticks and Stones a lot, but knifing in Sticks and Stones is really, really agitating, as is knifing in the Gun Game, just panic knifers who are just like pooping their pants in fear and then knifing you after they mash their controller. And uh, another thing that's really fun about this game type is you just don't know what's going to come up. Uh, you got to be prepared for anything, and it really is a fun change of pace, because um, in the Gun Game, I've probably played the Gun Game 50 times-ish, and uh, after a while, you kind of realize, like, all right, after this gun, I have this, and then that, and then this, and then that, and it just kind of gets stale. Um, and with this, you never know what's going to happen. You don't know what gun's going to pop up, what attachment, and I'm sure eventually um, they're actually going to not patch the gun game, but uh, revamp it and give it new guns, new orders. Um, if, if that's right, let me know, because I'm not quite sure. But uh, anyway, the strategy with, uh, with Sharpshooter is um, you want to get that first kill as quickly as possible because these bonuses really make a huge difference especially steady aim pro because um, a lot of the times the uh, the most difficult guns to use in this game type are akimbo pistols and when you have steady aim pro and someone else doesn't and uh, you're having an akimbo pistol fight right in the middle of the road um, you will win 100 out of 100 times as long as you're not absolutely god awful with a pistol um, because I mean, th those bonuses do mean a lot so you can't be camping you really don't want to be um, that's probably my favorite thing about this game mode, is the amount of deaths you have, um, it, of course it matters, but it's not the biggest thing, it's all about pulling out the, the big W, the, the V for victory, so, or Vendetta, but I don't know, that was a good movie by the way, I really enjoyed it, but, uh, <laughs> what am I talking about, um, yeah, so I'd really encourage you guys, if you haven't tried wager mode out yet, this is probably my favorite one as of right now, because, uh, I don't know, just a ton of fun, I'm really enjoying it. Um, keeps you on your toes. It helps you to learn new guns and what you would like to use in regular games. Like, I know sometimes, uh, I used the, uh, what was it? Uh, scorpion? I guess I used the Scorpion in this. Yeah, the Scorpion right there, and I really enjoyed it. I liked the way it worked, and so I took it out into a pub match, used it, and it worked out really well. So, uh, it's a good way to, it's a lot of fun. I really enjoy it, and, uh, it's a great way to stay in shape. So, there you go. Um, also, there is someone I wanted to mention today. I actually got a message last night from someone who, uh, just had a recent brain surgery, and they said that they were enjoying watching my videos, and that was helping them, uh, helping them get through it, and that really uh, touched a nerve with me. So I'm giving them a quick shout out, Sindri. If you're listening to this, uh, keep it up, dude. I really hope that uh, there are no complications and everything works out fine for you. And uh, everybody, hopefully, you can leave a comment wishing him well, and uh, that his surgery. Or I'm not quite sure. I didn't get many details, but everything that will work out. And uh, you know what's even more awesome, Sindri? Um, I think that's the way you pronounce it. I apologize if I'm wrong, but. Uh, Sindri was actually the name of one of the Dwarven Lords in Lord of the Rings, so you're instantly badass and awesome, so there you go. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm such a Lord of the Rings nerd. I'm, but everybody has that kind of like closet thing that they really, really are nerdy for, I guess. Or at least all of us do, because we all, we all like video games enough to watch these videos, and I like it enough to make these videos, so I guess I'm on a whole new level of nerd, nerdgasming. But uh, what is your guys' like little closet secret uh, nerd thing. Don't, like, tell me, like, I tie kids up in my basement to the radiator, and that, because I don't want to hear that kind of secret, because, uh, because <laughs> that's not what I'm, that's not what I'm talking about. So tell me your little, uh, geeked out secret, because I'd really be interested to hear what you guys have to say. Um, oh, one more thing about Sharpshooter. In addition to this, you guys see that I just, uh, was using the, um, the Commando. I have yet to unlock that in Xbox Live, because I pretty much do wager mode all the time, and you don't get experience for wager mode, uh, and you say you don't level up. But man, the commando is incredible from what I've played in it, with it in uh, in Sharpshooter. So if you guys have unlocked the commando, uh, leave a comment. Tell me what the best attachments for it are because I'm planning to unlock it pretty much around the same time as this commentary comes out, as long as I'm still getting as many points as I was. So uh, let me know. Tell me what the best setup is because I, I really hate pissing away my money on stupid attachments. Like uh, I, I bought one of the submachine guns. I bought the uh, the Mac 11. Good lord, I would rather just sit in the corner and throw quarters at someone than use the Mac 11. That is such a pitifully bad gun. But, uh, you know, what are you gonna do? Woo! Voice crack. I shouldn't have had... Have you guys ever, like, drank a really thick liquid, like, milk, and then when you talk, your voice, like, feels warped? That's what I'm feeling right now. I just had a big glass of milk with my my Sammy. But, uh, who knows? Maybe it's, maybe it's just puberty V2. 
uh, Revenge of the Cracks. I don't know. I was trying to think of a funny thing to say, and I just couldn't. But uh, here, here's a perfect example of why it's important to keep these streaks going. Um, Sleight of Hand Pro with the Exploding Crossbow is extremely helpful, unbelievably helpful. Everybody else is having to take their time and reload it, uh, taking five hours because it takes the guy just takes his sweet time pulling that uh, that crossbow bolt back. But uh, your guy's pretty quick, and that gives you a big advantage. So you can just start spamming the uh, spamming the ground with all your explosive bolts. Sounded strangely dirty. Not really? Maybe. I don't know. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a rating. I would appreciate that very much. In addition to that, please check out the video. The link is in the description. And uh, click on that. And uh, leave a comment. And leave a rating. And I love you. And bye.